Who is this? My name is Serena. And I've just had sex with your husband. Let me speak to my husband. I'm afraid that it won't be possible. How do I know Jax is even there? You'll just have to take my word for it. That? was a woman with a Russian accent who called herself Arena. The same name as your supposedly dead girlfriend. Now that's a wild coincidence, isn't it? And what did this um, Arena say? She said she's sleeping with my husband. What the hell is going on and where's Jax? I gave fear instructions. No, I do not want to hear any excuses. Do as you're told, or there won't be a next time. Do you understand? I apologize. I arranged for this call to be made. I cancelled it. But apparently those instructions were too complex for this woman I employ. Why would you want to convince me that Jax was sleeping with another woman? I, I wanted to hurt you, to, to put you off guard, to make you vulnerable. But as I say, I cancelled it when I realized that I didn't need any leverage. I can see how well we work together as a team. Why have her call herself Arena? Well, it's a very common name in former Soviet countries. It's like calling someone Karen or Linda. Yeah, you had a girlfriend named Arena who was supposedly shot right in front of you. See, I would think that you'd never want to hear that name. It just popped into my head. Subconscious guilt, I suppose. A convoluted excuse is what it is. <sighs> you know how much I like clever mind games. I, I guess it was not one of my best, but judging by your reaction, it served its purpose. And don't forget the women in Sunny's world. They are... You know, you keep telling me that you want to win me over and how much you love Jax, and you want to mend fences, and then you would pull something like this? I apologize for the heavy-handed ruse. I mean, it proved to be unnecessary, okay. I want you to stay away from me. But Carly, I mean, you can't expect me to fully trust you when any more than you feel you can fully trust me. Goodbye, Jerry. We'll reconvene later. Marty, I want you to pull up the collar and pay for that call so I can call him back. Yes. Okay, thank you. Hmm. That must be your brother or your wife returning the call. Someone is anxious to get hold of me. And you are just as eager for me to answer. Although I can't imagine why. The sooner Jerry gets here, the sooner you die. You get my brother here whenever you want, just leave my wife out of this. <laughs> so noble. Too bad there is no future for you and your beloved. You had to know Carly would call back, so answer it. You forget who's in charge. On the other hand, why not to play it your way for once? Oh well, I guess we'll just have to hope your wife calls back. Is everything all right, Carly? Yeah. Yeah, someone is just playing a trick on me. Look, for a jury to convict, they have to be convinced beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, with the evidence that Lorenzo Alcazar is alive, I do not see how this jury can return a guilty verdict. But there's no way to predict. Jason, I am so sorry for not being here for you. It's, it's okay. The guard is waiting to take you down to holding. But I'll try and stall him a little bit. I'm kicking myself for not being here. I don't really have a good excuse except for Jax. Uh, did, you, did you find him? No. And I'm worried sick. And Jerry knows it. And he's playing games with me. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? A woman called the hotel telling me that she slept with Jax. Jerry says he had her call, which makes no sense. And to top it all off, she said her name was... What? What was the name? Nothing. 
No, it's something. You Carly, know, and how does Jerry fit into all this? I forgot What's I have going on to take here? care of. I'll be No, back. you don't have to take care of anything, Carly. I'll be fine. Don't do anything crazy, please. Where are you going? I'm going to get Jackson and bring him home. Why now? I've been asking you to do that for a month. What's changed? Why now? Well, you responded to me amicably. You treated me as an ally rather than an enemy. You're worried about Jack. <laughs> Why should I? Because you made up that story about the phone call and you were just as surprised that that woman called. It's because I canceled that particular route. Stop! That's... And admit it. You lured Jack's away from home. He disappeared and you lost him and you have no idea where he is. General Hospital. You tell me right now what happened to my husband. Your brother will be here soon. The jury comes back with a guilty verdict. I'll be breaking Jason out of police custody. What do you want me to do? We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Morgan.